channel and if you are new, welcome, my name is Meg and today we're going to be doing a try on haul what I'm bringing on vacation with me video. I'm very excited about today's video because it's something new that I haven't tried yet so if you are not yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so you can be notified. I typically do beauty focused videos, but as you can see, I also like doing clothing videos, thrifting videos, lifestyle videos. I do uh, recaps of The Bachelor, Bachelorette, and Bachelor in Paradise. Lots of stuff to stick around for on my channel, so be sure to join the fam if you haven't yet. And as you can see, I have a clothing rack behind me, so I pulled some things from my closet because I thought it would be fun to share with you what kind of things I'm thinking of bringing, talking you through the process, show you what I end up deciding to bring on vacation with me. So I am going to Vegas for a couple of days. I am so excited. Vegas is my and my husband's probably favorite place to visit. It's super inexpensive for us to go because we live super close to where Vegas is in the hotels. If you go during the week, really aren't that bad. If you've been before, let me know what is your favorite thing to do down there or your favorite place to eat. I love getting new recommendations. When my husband and I go to Vegas, we don't do a lot of the typical Vegas things because we go so frequently. Um, we don't really go to like a bunch of nightclubs or anything. We're very like casual Vegas people. We like to go, of course we drink, but we also like to go and eat a lot of the food, walk around, see what there is to see, experience the shop. Sometimes we go to shows. So when I go to Vegas, I like to go and dress very casually. I know a lot of people are extravagant when they go. I've done that a few times too and it's really, really fun. Um, but for this trip, I'm keeping it more comfy casual because it is the end of August and it is the desert, so 120 degrees. I definitely want to feel comfortable in what I'm wearing. We're going to be spending a lot of time at the pools and pool parties, so I am super pumped for that. Without me rambling so much more, without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get into this try-on. I am also going to be cleaning out my closet and selling some of my clothes, so that video will be coming soon in the next couple of weeks, so be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. But yes, let's get started into the video. Alright, so back here I have my handy dandy clothing rack, so I'm just going to go ahead and talk through the options, and then I'll be trying some of them on for you so you can see how they look and how they go together, how I'm going to style them, all that fun stuff. So up first, this is a tank top from Charlotte Rouge that I've had forever. Um, I just don't really wear it a lot because I kind of have more of an hourglass shape. So I have like a really big bust and I have wide hips. So typically, even though I hate this though because this stuff is so cute, it hangs. It completely hides my waist. So I feel a little self-conscious sometimes wearing it. But this is a good, fun option for somewhere like Vegas. This is like my go-to tank top. I've literally had this thing probably close to 10 years. It's from American Eagle. It's a little bit oversized. I just love the way that it fits on me. It's nice and drapey. I don't have to think about it a whole lot. And it is incorporating a pop of color. In case you can't tell, I like to stick to neutral, so when I'm going out and going places like Vegas, I try to have at least one or two pops of color. So this is more my speed. This is more of a neutral piece. I recently picked this up at American Eagle. It was on sale for a couple of dollars. I absolutely love this tank top. I think that it is super cute. Again, I got it a little bit on the bigger size, so it's a little bit more oversized. It is nice and breezy. It's not going to be sticking to me if I am hot and sweaty, so I think that this is definitely a contender for Vegas. Here is another crop top from Charlotte Ruse. I've worn this a few times. Again, not so much recently. It's the same shape as this one right here. So very similar reasons why you may not have seen me around in this. And it's also pretty bright, so typically it's outside of what my comfort zone is. Here we have this blush t-shirt. This feels almost a little like neon-like. The material of this is super nice, super soft. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. It was only $7. So this could be a really nice and simple outfit with either some biker shorts or just some jean shorts to run around in. 
but because of material I may be a little too sweaty in this this is more for like indoors or if it cools down a little bit so I don't know if it'll be like a great pick for Vegas but it's definitely an option this is like a tank top slash vest that I got from Kohl's. This is from the brand Rock and Republic. Again, I got it a little oversized just so it can fit longer, be a little bit baggier, a little bit looser. I don't necessarily like things that are steam tight in case you couldn't tell. Um, but I thought that this could be really cute tied up paired with some jean shorts and that can make a fun outfit. I am really not a dress person at all. I was just saying to myself, I should probably try to find some more summer dresses to just throw on because it's so easy. You don't have to think about it. Toss it on with some sandals, you're good to go. But this is more of what my bathing suit cover up is. It's this really cute dress. I got it from a catalog online years ago. Um, it was relatively inexpensive. However, this piece in the center when you have it on is actually off center. And I wish it was a little bit longer because I would wear this as a dress all the time. However, it is so, so short. So it is definitely just going to be my bathing suit cover up for when I'm in Vegas. I absolutely love the shirt. It is just so feminine, dainty, and cute. I recently got this at H&M for a couple of bucks. And I just love the way that it fits with jean shorts. It just looks super cute. It's a little bit dressy. It's still on the casual side, but for me, this is more of a dress, dressy, nicer looking shirt option. Here is another classic comfortable, but still cute. You know, has that little knot detail in it. This is a t-shirt. Again, I picked this up recently a few months ago at TJ Maxx. It was like $5, super inexpensive. If you're looking for some nice pieces, that are on the cheaper side, I highly recommend that you check out a TJ Maxx or whatever the comparable thing is to that. So this is a definitely a top contender. Wear this with these biker shorts. It could be like a really cute airport outfit or just something for in the evening if I want to keep things casual. I do love me a good oversized t-shirt. Um, so this, again, with the biker shorts, could make for a really great airport outfit. It just all depends how I'm feeling that day and how I want to look. Normally, I go for comfort over style all the time. I have a ton of oversized band tees that could easily be knotted up with biker shorts, with regular shorts, or they can be worn like as dresses. However, with it being so hot in Vegas, wearing a black, baggy, heavy t-shirt is not the best idea. But if it was cooler, you bet I would have this whole rack filled with my band tees trying to decide which ones I want to wear. So if it was a little bit cooler outside, I would definitely have that as way more of an option because oversized t-shirt and micro shorts are definitely my aesthetic right now. For a little more of a dressier option, I just got this romper at H&M too. I think that this was like maybe $18. So for H&M, it's expensive, but it's still relatively inexpensive. It is nice and breezy. It doesn't have any ties or zippers, so it is super easy to get on and off. I really like the idea of rompers a lot. However, when they start to tie and zip, they get complicated. And I don't, like, I also hate the feeling of, like, getting completely undressed just to go to the bathroom. So if I can't just slip it on and off, it's too much work for me and I pass on it. And it's also really hard to find rompers that fit my torso. I am 5'7", so a lot of times I get camel toe action, but this fits really, really, really well. And before you say it in the comments, because I have people tell me all the times, you don't need to take your romper off, just like lift it to the side to pee. And I'm like, no, I'm like, I don't wanna, no. And lastly, I have this skirt that is really fun. It is like a midi, but you'll see once it on, it kind of like crops up a little bit. I recently got this at American Eagle. It just has this really fun leopard print on it. I probably could have sized down. I was nervous to get a smaller size and have it be too tight. This is just like a little bit too big, but I think I could just DIY another buttonhole or something to make it fit tighter. But I love this idea. Again, like bunching this up with an oversized t-shirt could be really cute. Wearing it with one of my tank tops could be a really cute idea. It is nice and breezy. It is a definite lightweight skirt. So it is for sure desert approved. As far as other bottom option goes, I do have these biker shorts that I am wearing from American Eagle. 
I love American Eagle for their bottoms. I have this high-waisted pair of jean shorts from them. And also, if you saw my trying on every pair of American Eagle jeans so you don't have to video, these are the shorts that I got from there. Those shorts are also in the video, but I already own them. Um, but yeah, these are the shorts that I got. I absolutely love them. They're higher waisted, super comfy. They're not like digging into you. So yeah, let me go ahead and get into trying these outfits on and we can figure out what I will and will not be bringing to Vegas. All right, so just to give you an idea of what the skirt looks like, how it fits, how it flows, I really had envisioned in my mind too when I bought this to wear an oversized t-shirt and be able to tie it up. So like with a black t-shirt, this Amy Warhol, this white one that I'm wearing, I think that this is like a really cute casual outfit. So I just wanted to throw this out there. Again, this whole t-shirt situation is a little bit too hot for Vegas right now, but I just wanted to see how it looks on and I think it looks really cute. So let me put on what I would actually wear with this skirt. So here is the t-shirt option. I think that this is a super cute outfit. I recently wore this out to brunch and I didn't sweat too much because I also live in the desert. So Vegas temperatures aren't far off at all from what I'm experiencing and living in right now. But I just love this outfit so much, even keeping my Birkenstocks on. So I have nice, comfortable shoes because in Vegas, I probably end up walking an average of like seven to 10 miles a day. So comfort in my shoes are very important. So this is something that's like a little bit more put together. For me, this is like a casual dressy outfit. I know for a lot of people, this is just like super casual, casual, but it's something that is comfortable and easy to put together. So I really like this outfit a lot. This is definitely going to be a contender in something that I pack. All right, so this could be another outfit. This could be like an airport outfit if I felt like dressing cute. What I like about this t-shirt is that it does go down in the back, so I don't have to worry about my bare skin touching the airplane seat, but more likely than not, I will be throwing on that oversized t-shirt for the airport. But this could also be a really nice casual outfit if I am just walking around, if we're going out to the shops, not really going out and doing anything something to just kind of chill around in. This could be a really great option. And lastly, for biker shorts, this could also be like an airport outfit too. I'm just wearing this tank top with it. It's casual. This is a little bit something that is gonna cover me up a little bit more. So if I'm feeling a little self-conscious about my belly or something, I can just throw this on and call it a day and be comfy and casual. All right, so here is the romper I was talking about. I like this. It's a little bit more dressy. It has pockets nice and comfy and then also it is long enough so you are not going to get chafing when you are walking it is that perfect thigh rub length to prevent that again this is something that also looks really great with my super comfy sandals so this one is definitely coming with us so here is another outfit option that is a high contender that i'm probably going to end up bringing this top with me i just think that it is super freaking cute I like how it looks with these plain shorts. It still looks decent without being too much. But yeah, I really like this a lot. Obviously ignore my bra straps. This top is actually pretty comfortable to wear. It doesn't really go anywhere. It pretty much stays in place. The only issue is obviously if you're like raising your arms up then you may have to adjust the shoulder area. But if you are just chilling, walking around, not really doing too many like up and down arm movements, the top is going to stay in place. Here is one of the brighter options just to give you an idea of what it looks like. It kind of hits right where my shorts end, so I like this, so I feel like I'm not showing too much skin. I don't feel like my stomach is hanging out, but this is kind of what I mean. Like my boobs are a little bit bigger and wider, so instead of like doing me favors, it's kind of... I don't know, I feel like it makes me look a little bit whiter than what I am. And another thing I wanted to point out with this style of short, I like it because if you are having issues with your thighs chafing walking around, all you have to do is roll them down and you are good to go. Your thighs are nice and safe. Oh my God, okay, so, um, my boobs have gotten too big <laughs> for this tank top. Like I've literally had it for years. Uh, so this is kind of what it would look like. 
but this is ideally probably what outfit I would wear this with. I'm like crooked over here. Okay, so I love these shorts. I think they're super great. It's again, if you need to, situational, you can roll them down if you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. But uh, again, these shorts are situational. So if you're gonna be walking a lot, you don't want your thighs rubbing together, you can definitely roll them down and they do look cute. However, if you are really wanting to have a leg moment while you're standing at the bar and maybe playing some beer pong, you could just roll them right back up and they look super cute. I'm obsessed with this outfit. This outfit is definitely coming with me. Still looks great with the sandals. Basically, every outfit needs to match my sandals because they will probably not be leaving my feet. I just wanted to show for the sake of the video what this tank top looks like. The bra that I'm wearing is not making my boobs look very flattering, but I just wanted to show you. It's a really nice, cute tank top. It would look better with the plain shorts, um, but because of the material, I will not be bringing this to Vegas with me. I just wanted to show you since I had it on the rack. So quickly, this is what the tank top looks like. I think this is actually a cute outfit for more like around here, not necessarily for Vegas. I do like this a lot. All I did was tie it up. I will say though, it's kind of tuxedo style in the back, so I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this situation. I'm sure I could just like always tuck it into my pants or tuck it and tie it in the back as well. Let's see how that looks. So if I tuck and hide in the back, then that looks a lot better. I Again, I like this a lot. I think it would just be cute to wear around town, not necessarily for Vegas. And I do have one more top to show you that wasn't on the rack because it's a bathing suit top. Hear me out, just wait for it. All right, so hear me out with this one. I like this a lot. It is a bikini top. Um, great for night swimming, not so much during the day if you're trying to work on your tan. But I love how this looks with the high-waisted shorts. I think it is super cute. And because it's a bathing suit, I would like to think that it would be great for <laughs> being hot and sweating. Um, so I think that this is a really fun outfit. I wouldn't necessarily wear this around day to day like in my town or like in my daily life per se, um, but for Vegas, I feel like Vegas is where we go when we get to experiment with clothes and stuff that we normally wouldn't wear. But I do like this together as an outfit and let me show you what bathing suits I am bringing to Vegas. So these are the bottoms for the swimsuit. I will link it down below, so hopefully I remember to do this. I think that this is so cute, it is so precious. I got it on Amazon and I think it was $12 for you total, like top and bottom, $12 and it's actually really decent material. So these are a little bit high waisted. Um, I would model the <laughs> swimsuits for you, but it is that time of the month so I'm a little bit more bloated and self-conscious feeling than I usually am but I am out here pushing myself outside of my comfort zone even by wearing this on camera. So my favorite bathing suits of the summer for sure have been from Aerie. I love American Eagle and Aerie as a brand. I think that they're amazing. I got these super high-waisted. They're a little cheeky. They're definitely fun to show off, definitely for Vegas. Um, I love the neon coral of this. I do have the same swimsuit in black, but I have different bottoms that are more like thicker, they're not as high-waisted, they don't show off as much as these do, but I absolutely love these. They are high-waisted, they make you feel secure, you don't feel like your gut is hanging out, you feel like your pooch isn't really showing. I just feel so confident wearing these high-cut bottoms, which is something as a mid-sized girl, I never thought I would feel confident wearing something like this, but I am. I kind of like stuck myself in a box the last two years saying that I'm only wearing one pieces, but Airy has gotten me out of that and I've been rocking bikinis again all summer. I absolutely love these tops because they don't tie, so they're easy. Um, and they just fit kind of like a sports bra style. They're super comfortable. I would definitely try on like in store or order two sizes, even though I have a double D chest. I have a top and a medium because the large there's no way to adjust it. So when I tried the large on, there was too much gaping in the back strap. While it provided maybe a little bit more coverage on the boob area, not much. I just had to go ahead and size down to a medium. I do have a little bit of under boob in this, but I mean, that's kind of on trend for right now. So I don't really care. 
I'm used to struggling with bikinis and bikini tops, so this doesn't bother me, but I highly recommend it. They're fairly inexpensive as well. I think it's $25 together for the top and the bottom. Let's recap what I'm bringing to Vegas. Even though this is a little bit of a daring outfit for me, for some people it might not be, but for someone that wears oversized t-shirt and biker shorts all day, every day, this is a fun daring outfit, so it is definitely coming to Vegas. This is another outfit that is coming to Vegas with me. It is just cute, comfortable. I don't feel self-conscious in it. It's easy to put together, throw on, and I will be good to go. This is another outfit that will be traveling with me. I love the comfort of the shorts. I like that the top is dressy while still being comfortable and breathable and lightweight, most important of all. Of course, the romper is coming with me. It is just so cute and comfy. It is, what I like to say, kind of dressy, kind of not, but it is just something nice to wear around during the daytime or at nighttime. Don't mind my Carrie Bradshaw hair, but what I like most about this outfit is that it is super lightweight, it is comfortable, and most importantly, I feel super cute in this outfit. And lastly, I have my realistic airport outfit. Super comfy, super casual, especially for that plane ride home when I just will want comfort and sleep. All right, so in conclusion, I think I had about six solid outfits for Vegas, which isn't bad. I'm gonna be there for two and a half days. So basically I have two outfit options every day, which is good because like I said, it is gonna be super, super hot. So if I happen to get like super hot and sweaty and I just feel uncomfortable, I have another backup, backup outfit or like a nighttime outfit that I can wear out and about so I don't feel like I'm stuck wearing the same sweaty, dirty clothes every day, all day that I am there. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to film a what I pack in my makeup bag for toiletries, skincare makeup, all of that stuff for Vegas, let me know because that is something that I may just end up film, filming anyways. So if you're interested in that, give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what was your favorite outfit from this video. Let me know and what is your favorite type of outfit to wear out on vacation. And if you've ever been to Vegas, let me know what your favorite spot is. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.